Hi, my name is Michael Beal. Uh, these days, pretty, PDFs are pretty predominant uh, in the industry. Let's say you have an architectural plan uh, that you are providing to a, another uh, customer, and we're that customer to which that PDF has been provided. What do we do with a PDF? How do we get it into AutoCAD? What if it's not one-to-one? -one? Let's take a look at that. On the Insert tab, there's a reference panel. On the reference panel, there's an Attach button. You click Attach. Now, you can't presume that it's going to be PDF immediately. Down here at the bottom, you have files of type. Maybe when you open up that uh, reference file dialog box, it says DWG. So in order to attach a PDF underlay, you need to come down here and change your file type. All right? So we'll go to our file type of PDF. I have one here from University of Kentucky, the Taylor Education Building. I'm going to open this up. Click Open. Up comes the dialog box. We'll leave it at full path. I'm going to turn off the scale on screen. I'm going to turn off the insertion point on screen because sometimes we might want to have that go specifically at a zero, zero. Click OK. Do a quick zoom extents. And we have this particular drawing in here. Of course, we can rotate it as needed, but now let's see if it's one to one. If I zoom up to, let's say, a door, right? It might be a 3068 door. What we need to do is identify if that is indeed full scale. So we'll go over here to our utilities. Go to our measure geom, pick from yay to yay. 1 16th isn't quite going to cut it. So now the question is, how do we scale it? But the cool thing is, starting in AutoCAD 2010, we can actually snap to the vectors of a PDF. Powerful feature now because if we go to the Home tab and go to the Scale command here on Modify, we go to Scale. You select your PDF. Now the thing that's curious is the PDF lines won't highlight, but you will notice it says one found. So you press enter, base point, common response is going to be zero comma zero. You press enter. Of course, we're going to use the reference option because we want to pick two points that we want to say, I know the distance between, so I'll pick from yay to yay, all right? Then the prompt comes back, says, well, what do you want that new length to be? I go, well, 36, press enter. You go, where to go? Well, it zoomed, it scaled it up. Do a quick zoom extents, zoom up to the same door, Let's go to the utilities, go to measure, pick one point, hang out on the next one, three foot, perfect, works every time. Hope that helps you working with PDF underlays.